Hello everyone, welcome back to our final Christmas Stampathon making challenge of the year. And our final challenge for this year, we are concentrating on tags and we're asking you guys to make some tree tags. So we're going tree themed for our tags. For this month, I have gone totally non-stamping using the Delicate Baubles dies for our Christmas Stampathon Challenge. And I have used these two dies. So I've used the Outline die and I have used the um, Intricate Cut Tree die. I have made life uber easy for myself when making these tags and backed our pool party bumblebee and garden green cardstock in our adhesive sheets so i've coated the paper then popped it through our stamp and cut and emboss machine so all the pieces that i'm sticking to my thick basic white layer is totally sticky so all i have to do is peel and stick and i will show you that in just a second i have made and i will just bring this tag a bit closer i have made the star and the foliage on the tree shiny just that bit of shimmer and shine with our wing costella brush and i have made the tag to go on the gift or gift bag using our simply elegant trim so i have used the silver here but in the pack you do also get gold as well so that is where i have done it so let me clear a few of these things out of the way and i will show you how this all comes together so just another look at the colors garden green bumblebee and pool party i'll pop these projects up the top scoot this to the side and bring in our tag so as i have said i have used um a thick but basic white i know i said whisper white before but it's now called basic white so um just the outline tag with this outline and then i have layered everything on top and i have a kamikaze piece here that i'm going to pop it back so i have cut these out so you can see on the back i do have the adhesive backing so I will show you how these and this piece I don't need because it is pool party. So I will show you how I put these together. I just need my little rubbish container here and I'm going to start by popping on the background. So I thought I'll show you five or so of these pieces because you don't need to sit here for a long long time and watch me put all of these in so i use the take your pick tool which you have lots of options for the ends that you can use so i have one with that spatula end on one i have this one with the paper piercing end which is actually perfect for scooting these into place now this one does not want to play ball so what i'm going to do here if you have any pieces like this and i'm missing the star that's okay i will see if i can find a star if not i can color it in and i don't know how i realized i was don't know how i was missing the star so i'm just going to you mm, that's not helpful screw this um putty end just screws in but because it's had so much vibration recently so just i push all my putty down so you've got a putty end and you can pick up i can't pick up this piece i'm going to drop it in there and just 
give it a bit of a push down and that one should stay I should not have any issues with that I recap it so it doesn't get too dusty and then the goobers I call it a goober so the putty end doesn't work so to participate in our Christmas Stampathon challenge I have our group link below in the description and the challenge starts on the 25th of October sorry 25th of September and goes through till the 20 sorry we are in October this year's getting away from me so it starts sorry on the 25th of October and it goes through until the 25th of November and we just want you to make four or more Christmas tags ready to go on those gifts. We've had lots and lots of card challenges throughout the year. So what we're probably going to do for our November challenge is get you to catch up on one of the challenges that you've already done. Or you can show us the box or all your projects ready to go out in the mail to your loved ones so this one is the tags ready for your gifts so i just wanted to do something pretty intricate i um i made i've made 12 of these tags so i've watched some movies and some tv shows um, making these ones so you can see i can just manipulate it into place and you can see these are just great but if a pair of tweezers works better for you you grab a pair of tweezers so i am missing the star but do you know what i might do i might just make this a pretty white star or do i do a green star or i've got a blue star I might because I'm keeping and I'm also keeping the backings of all of these I'm gonna pop in a blue star and it's still going to be sparkly um, so I'm keeping all the backings of these and what I'm thinking of doing is making some additional Christmas cards where I cut out the tree and then I'm going to inlay it with all the pool party pieces to pop on the front of a cart so oh that looks very different with a, a blue star I quite like it so we're just doing that let me get rid of I'm trying to keep my floor quite clear of all these backings because trust me they are a little slippery and I do just have a few adhesive marks that I'm just going to remove with an adhesive eraser and what we can do and I'll try and see if I can find the tag that I used okay so here with this tag you can see I've got the beautiful beveled edges of the impression of the die so what I did with this one I actually ran it once I'd stuck everything in I popped a scrap sheet of paper over it and pop it back through my scan and cut machine and it flattened it out so you can get this really nice um, defined look or you can have a flatter look so two ways you can do it and just to finish this off I'm going to take our wink of Stella and I'm just going to pounce on the star so it's going to become a shimmery blue star and then I'm also just going to paint this greenery and then we just need to add on our um, thread or our trim. And now I'm not worrying about getting on the bumblebee part here, but I am mainly concentrating on getting all this beautiful shimmer. 
Now, if you want to use a stamp set for this, if you want to use a punch for your tags, a different kind of tree die cut, whatever you would like, you I cannot wait to see all your gorgeous tags. And if you do the tags and go, hey, I want to do more, jump back and have a go at some of our other challenges because we're almost at Christmas time. And this is why this challenge goes all year because I know, I think, I think I'm pretty close to having enough cards and uh, very soon I am going to start um, writing my cards because I do need to send some overseas and the post being the post at the moment, I would prefer them to get there before Christmas. So I just pop through the ends from the back and I'm just going to pull if they will do it for me. I'm just going to pull those ends through that loop and then it is ready to tie around a gift bag, tie around a ribbon on a present, or as I like to do it, I just whack a piece of sticky tape across it. Now, if you had a two from stamp set, you, you could do that. Now, the only two from stamp set I own at the moment is in one of our brand new kits so this is the love Santa tag kit and you can see here we do have a Christmas tree in here and we do have a very dainty to from stamp set that I can go through and write to or from I will probably just hand write on mine but there is an option um, in the kit to have a to from stamp so I'm just not quite there yet so all I have left to do is to go through punch a hole through the top of the decoration oh these could be decorations as well but they are tags um, and put through our trim so I do hope to see your tags on our Christmas Stampathon challenge. If there is anything you I have used today uh, that you would like to purchase, please don't hesitate in contacting me. If you are in Australia and I would love to help you. So today I have used the Delicate Baubles dies. Wink of Stella, Garden Green Bumblebee and Pool Party Cardstock along with Basic White and our Simply Elegant Trim for some very simple looking but very, very pretty tags. If you're up for a, just sticking mindlessly, putting these together, perfect thing. I had so much fun um, doing these. Uh, they did take a little longer than normal because my hands aren't perfect and they do like to do things they're not meant to. But a real labour of love that I know the people's presents that I put them on will appreciate them. So I look forward to seeing you in the group and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks. Bye.